Hi, I'm Dalla, and today we're gonna be doing the ultimate battery upgrade. 62 kilowatt hours into this leaf. Let's get started. Okay, so I won't bother you with uh, showing how to remove the battery. You can watch my previous videos for that. So this is a 30 kilowatt hour pack out of a 2016 uh, leaf AZE0, and we're gonna be mounting this uh, 62 kilowatt hour pack. And there are some differences here. The main one being that this pack is not really equipped with the same mounting hardware as the old one. So I got this 40mm um, uh, square tubing and also some round tubing to reinforce it with that we're going to be mounting on these sides. So um, uh, we're going to skip ahead to some uh, fabrication. Okay, so we're using a uh, wood-based CAD design for this build and um, made some uh, bolt holes in this wood piece and uh, by putting it over here, you can see that this one actually lines up with uh, one of these original holes. Uh, this one doesn't, so we will need to make a new one there. And to raise the section, the required height, we have this 40mm uh, uh, square uh, steel that we're going to be using. But um, now we need to drill some holes in this. And of course this uh, square tubing is reinforced with these uh, inserts so that the bolt doesn't just squish the metal out of form. So yeah, bolt goes in here, longer one of course. Uh, since the bolt holes don't exactly match up, we made these uh, adapter plates with uh, captive nuts. That way we will be able to utilize the factory uh, holes and not modify this uh, 62 kilowatt hour pack at all, which makes for a much cleaner install. Okay, so these are the rear adapters that hold in the battery. This one bolts to the chassis and this one bolts to the battery at the back. But um, since the new pack is a bit taller, 40 mil to be precise, uh, we need to extend these two bolt holes and luckily the rear one matches up so we simply need to add uh, some more metal here at the top in order to make it longer. So that's what we're gonna do now. Back to welding. And this is the final result after being welded together and given some paint. Uh, fun fact, you can also buy these, uh, there's a spare part number that I can put in the video description if you don't feel like uh, making your own. And here they are mounted on the car. They look quite good, if I do say so myself. Next up is the adapter rails on the side. And here we have them, um, a bit primed since we, s we are still not 100% sure about the fitment but these rails will be bolted down to the chassis and we also have some new holes drilled for the bolts and we're going to be snaking in those captive nuts that we welded earlier on so it will have lots of mounting holes to bolt into so yeah we'll go continue with that okay so the brackets have been painted and now it's time to actually mount the battery super excited about this now we'll see how how good our measurements actually were so yeah let's mount it <laughs> and the battery is in this is the rear of the battery with the new extended uh, supports and uh, this bolt uh, it fit in the original mount. You can actually see that the 62 uh, pack originally uses two bolts. So I think I'm actually gonna sneak in another bolt here. I'm just gonna use this. Uh, it's actually open here so it's quite easy to get a nut in. That way I can get another bolt to fasten here. And if we roll on down uh, further to the front we can see that uh, the pack is bolted in, we have this adapter plate sandwiched uh, in between and I'm gonna have some pictures in the description uh, if you want to replicate this. And this goes on all the way to the front 
here it's also bolted in uh, via the adapter plate and the two original uh, mounting holes for the front uh, those one actually fit uh, exactly uh, without any need for any modifications so that's it the battery pack is in since this is an AZE0 model uh, the plugs fit perfectly and there was no need for any modifications here in the front even the original grounding straps can be reused you just have to bend them a bit more into shape so that's nice uh... Okay, so the underguards, uh, they don't really fit. The first one you can get to fit uh, quite good and it's the most important one because it uh, creates this kind of shape so it's not so uh, aggressive, this lower battery pack. But the rest ones, uh, they don't really fit at all. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna suggest this customer to pick up the, the underguards that were actually meant for this battery and mount those instead. So I'm gonna leave this number, this last one, number four and number three, I'm gonna leave off. I'm only gonna mount this uh, number two. Uh, it's still quite aerodynamic without these two, but for the ultimate OEM uh, look, I would definitely recommend them. I also put some uh, undercoating here also, some spray to keep it from rusting out. Uh, while speaking about things that need to be changed, the rear springs must be changed when doing this upgrade because you add so much weight to the car. So this will be done at a later stage since I didn't have time to order these springs, but uh, the customer will retrofit these uh, afterwards. I will put the parts number in the description so that you following along at home can order these in advance. And last but not least, was the installation of a can bridge. This is my usual go-to place on the AZE0. Right now I'm just gonna flash it with the latest software and then package that up, very important. And um, yeah, then let's see if the vehicle starts. Okay, here we go, moment of truth. Will it start? Oh ho ho! 446 kilometers estimate, 95% state of charge, and wow, looking good. Okay, some uh, closing thoughts. It's very dark out here. Uh, this took a whole day and I skipped a lot of uh, videoing because uh, I'm under a bit of a time pressure to get this car delivered. It will go now to a second place where they will fix the springs and install these plates under the car to make it more aerodynamic. But this 62 kilowatt hour upgrade, uh, would I recommend it to a beginner? Mm, maybe not. If you can get the actual like uh, mechanical uh, adapter rails maybe made by someone else so you don't have to fabricate them on the spot then maybe yeah maybe go for it otherwise the 40 kilowatt hour pack remains maybe one of the easiest installs since everything just lines up and yeah it's plug and play basically but yeah hope you enjoyed this video i will put lots of information in the description about the 62 kilowatt hour battery upgrade and um, let me know if you're planning to do one, and if I skipped something, I will put it in the description otherwise. But yeah, thanks for watching, and um, if you like this kind of stuff, uh, consider supporting me on Patreon. Otherwise, see you in the next video. Bye.